Well, as we all spend more time inside our homes, you may be looking for some projects. You know, the ones you've always been putting off. Today, we have Angie Heitch here with Ship Shape Solutions with some ideas on getting organized. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. Yeah, I guess we don't have any excuse now to keep saying, you know, one of these days, this is those days, right? Exactly. We all have these projects we say, someday I'm going to do that. When I retire, when I'm recovering from surgery, when whatever. And here we are, all our plans are canceled and we've got a lot of time to work on a project. And one of the things I love is photographs and I have boxes of them, but no organization. All right. Well, I am here to get you started. I'm going to give you a, a plan that is going to uh, make you excited just to get going with it. Well, and it's one of those things that you really want to be able to look back on. And if you let it go too long, it just becomes even increasingly more daunting. Yes, it gets even more intimidating. And the thing is, when those photos are in those boxes or envelopes or bags or whatever, nobody's enjoying those things. Yeah. So, yeah, you want to be able to get them out and get them in some order so you could share them. Uh, my sister and I were talking about this today. I was talking her through this project, and I started sending her photos because I had my good one scanned, like we'll talk about. We had so much fun. We spent 30 minutes, in, you know, me sending pictures to her and laughing. So get those photos out, and, and let me help you get a plan to get going so you can get them in order and share them. All right, so where do we begin, Angie? All right, so we're talking about printed photos here. So you're going to begin, first step is to just get them all in one place. Gather them from wherever, get them all together. And then the second step, you need to figure out your end game. Like if you could wave a magic wand and say, okay, the process is done, what does it look like? What do you want at the end? Do you want a few things in an album? Do you want some printed photo books? Do you want just a few of those photo safe boxes with some pictures that you can get to easily? What would be what you want? And it may take you a while to figure that out, and that's okay, but you need to kind of figure out what your end goal is. You know, it's funny, I started with the photo albums, and then I, I ended up being happy with just the box that's kind of got the little compartment, so it sort of walks you through that year. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, there's no right or wrong here, but you know, you got to think about what, how much do you really want to save, you know, and, are your kids or grandkids going to care about boxes and boxes and boxes? No, so we probably need to call it down a little bit. So, and then here's, here's where the work comes in, and it may be overwhelming if you have a whole lot of them, but this really simple process will narrow it down considerably. So we're going to start doing a sort, an ABC sort. You're going to separate everything into A, B, and C. And I'm going to show you some examples of A photos, B photos, and C photos so you'll know kind of what I'm thinking. This is really good for like TV work, what I'll say, you know, got something mindless going on on the screen and you're just doing this with your hands. It's really easy. It's a good family activity, like spread out on the table. Everybody could do it together. You could even vote. What do you think, guys, A, B, or C? So you're just going to start out with a big pile of photos and start sorting through them. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to share the window. Hopefully I'll, I'll get this correct. Okay. And when you say A, B, and C, are you prioritizing these photos? Yes, and I'm going to tell you what qualifies for them. Okay. okay. So A photos, A, like your A game, these are the photos that are priceless. The ones that are like the best of the best. It's a special moment. Like you would cry if these went away. So birth of my first daughter, that's an A photo. No question about that. Absolutely. So sweet. Yeah. Uh, so this next one is one of the best photos that my husband's ever taken on a trip. It's just gorgeous. This is, a, it is an A photo. This is one of my favorites of my girls when they were little. So these are easy picks. Like, oh, I just love this photo. I have to do something about it. And the thing about identifying these A photos is not just to identify the printed photo that's great, but these A photos, they really need to be scanned. Okay. Because you just never know what's going to happen. They could be in an album that's not photo safe and they're degrading, or you could have a flood or a fire or whatever, and you'd be so sad if these great photos were not available. So I really recommend scanning for these. You can send off 
the pictures to be scanned and save some money, but then you also risk something happening to them. If you want it to be handled locally and guarantee that it gets done and back into your hands safely, I recommend Bayes Media in Johnson City. Mm, I love them. They do incredible work, and then you've always yeah. got that backup. Okay, and Angie, we are almost out of time, so can you give us some tips for the Bs and Cs? Yes. All right, so Bs are your ones. They're, they're good photos, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be sad if they're gone. I mean, this is decent. This one at a concert, the lighting's kind of funky. So this is, I'm not ready to get rid of it, but it's not great. Now you should have a huge amount of sea photos, ones like this. Like, where the heck is this? I don't know any of these people. <laughs> What's going on there? Okay, plant a bit at a botanical garden. Okay, but, I, you know, places like, you, you don't even know, it, it's just a, a place, it's an animal, it's a double, it's somebody you don't know. You should have a huge amount of seeds, and those just need to go away. That's so, so funny. I've got five articles on photo organizing on my website, uh, two on printed photos and three on digital that are a really good resource. Um, so, you know, hopefully that is a helpful thing. That, that is could, uh, that you is know, wonderful. Some more information there. Yes, and perfect timing as we now have the time. And this is one of those things. Once you've accomplished it, you have such a great relief. I mean, it's such a good project, and you can look at it and enjoy it. Absolutely, and it's so much fun going back through all that. Yeah, good times, yeah. reliving those memories. Angie, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And don't forget, you can always check out her website to get more information on how you can organize those important photographs. We'll be right back.